everyone and welcome back to another episode of castaways it's the weekend the weekend are you guys having a great weekend summer is almost over no no summer but fall will be coming fall is actually my favorite month uh i just love in my area like the cheese <laughs> the cheese changes color the cheese no the trees the trees change color and oh look we have captain crunch oh they're not <laughs> they're not german shepherds today they're in their sheep's clothing or wolf clothing if you will um but yeah let's say hi to our puppies we have captain chewy and marshall how you guys doing how's the puppy police any anything's been happening hmm nothing just love love's in the air everywhere i turn around uh but i came in here because i wanted to update the map last episode we created um our horsey stables or maybe that was two episodes ago yeah two episodes ago so let's update that i think it's like this map can I have it? How do I get the map? Can I take it? Oh gosh, no. How do I... Okay, that's not the one that I wanted. You are not... Oh yeah, it was. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, now our map is updated and as you can see, now we have a little uh, horse barn right here. So that is awesome. Uh, today what we're going to do, uh, last episode we added some mushrooms uh, to our... Our wonderful, wonderful, waterfall, housey type of area right there. And you guys really, really seem to like that, which is cool. I think it, it adds a little pizzazz uh, to the whole build in general. And I mentioned making little mushroom houses. And you guys are so smart. You guys are so smart. You had the awesome idea of making, like, a little Smurf village. Uh, so we're going to try to make... Uh, a general type of mushroom house today and see how that goes. So I wanted to use this area to make uh, our little village because I think it's really cool and it's like a nice little enclosed space, a nice little private place for some people to live. Um, but I'm going to take down this tree. We must go. I got, I got silk touch, an axe, so I got a bunch of mushrooms that we can use. So that is awesome. And oh, I mean actually, do I have any iron new? No. Uh, I may actually need some leaves. Maybe I'll take some of these with this axe. Axes are the new leaves. I mean, basically. <laughs> oh, I got an apple. Awesome. I need apples for converting villagers. I think maybe, because I want, like, a lot of villagers. And I think what I'll do is just, like, I won't build, like, a, a breeding thing, a breeding machine. I will just convert all of the villagers. And if they breed, like, if we make a village and they happen to, like, breed... Like, that's awesome. Uh, but now, like, actual, like, machine. Or, like, thing to make them breed. If you, do you guys get it? Do you understand? I think you guys get it. Oh, this looks weird. This is probably from another tree. These leaves do not belong to you. Uh, but we're gonna attempt to make some kind of mushroomness. Let's remove this one, too, just so we have more space to work with. And, yeah. So I think we're gonna use some sandstone. And we're going to use mushroom blocks, obviously. And we're going to see how that looks. I'm not too sure it's how it's going to be. So, you know, we can always change it. This is just a prototype. A prototype mushroom house. Uh, let's make a crafting table. I think we're going to need some stairs. So let's make some stairs for that. And we want, what well, kind of stairs? We want sandstone stairs. So let's make a few of these. Um... So we got sandstone, we got smooth sandstone, we got mushrooms. So let's start. Um, if they were making like a little Smurf town, the houses aren't going to be that big because, you know, Smurfs are kind of tiny. So let's start with something like this. This can be like our entranceway. And maybe we'll go out one and then go out three more. Kind of make like a mushroom, mushroom type of thing. And then we'll go like this. And then like this. And then out three more. And then one inside like this. And hopefully that'll be okay. We have to like terraform a little bit. Um, let's remove some blocks. Remove some things. We need to make it beautiful. <laughs> and we'll we'll fix it up later. But just so we have some more shroom. You guys hear what I just said? I said shroom, not room, but more shroom. But but no, don't do shrooms. But we're just we're just mushroom talking right now. Shh. I don't know. <laughs> Um, alright, so we have this. This is like a nice little uh, area for a house, I think, inside here. So that's good, very nice. Now what do we want to do? I kind of want to make it like, feel like a mushroom. 
I feel like a mushroom. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm gonna use some dirt just to help me, maybe. Uh, let's just go like this for now. So we have an easier time placing some of our blocks. And let us do something a little funky. Let's put a stair there. Let's put a block there. Let us put a stair here and here and here. And we'll put a block and then we'll go stair, stir, stir. Staring is rude, don't stare at people, but if you're placing stairs, it's fine. And then we'll go like this. And I'm let's see. Give me some of this dirt. <laughs> You're hogging all the dirt. You don't even go to this school. Um, and there we go. So we now have a nice little base, like kind of like a mushroom stalk, maybe. <laughs> and then I think Smurfs are really small, right? So they're not going to be super tall. So maybe they'll only be like, kind of like, we'll see. Let's add some mushrooms now. Um, let's get our dirt ready so we can, uh, you know, remove it. So let us start placing some of these mushroom blocks and just, just go like around the outside, like so. And then that tree might need to go. You're gonna need to go, sir. <laughs> Let's remove this tree. You're in the way. I need things. I need things to happen. All right, and now that we've done that, let's see. How does this looking? Is it looking like a mushroom house? Ooh, fancy. Fancy. I like it. I like it. I like it. And let's see. Do we have enough room? Hmm. Maybe we'll have the mushrooms come out one. Let's see how that looks. Maybe we'll have it like, hmm, like come out two. Let's see. So if we go like this, now is the tricky part. Where we're gonna have to be, you know, jumping and <laughs> doing all kinds of crazy stuff to try to get a mushroom house to look cool. So let's go like this. And then we'll need like that maybe. And let's go. Oh, I placed it wrong. It's in the wrong spot. We'll go like this. Good thing I have my axe of justice. And let's go like this. And droop. And let's go. Oh gosh, excuse me. Excuse me. And there we go. Ooh, this is gonna be fancy. Oh, and then we get to decorate them and make cute little like interior Smurfy houses. I'm so excited. Smurfy houses. Maybe we'll name some of you after some Smurfs. Like, we'll have Smurfy names. We'll, like, how do we change your name to be more Smurf-like? <laughs> I have not seen the Smurfs in such a long time. I, I remember I used to watch it a lot. I know there was, like, like a, a wizard dude, and he had a cat, and he was, like, the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go rewatch some Smurfs. And then there was Smurfette, and she was, like, the only girl, which is kind of weird. Um, uh, but yeah, so let's go this way. Ooh, fancy. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Um, all right, so let's go back in, I think. Back in with the mushroom blocks. And yeah, we have a lot of mushrooms, so we should be okay for now. So let's go up here. And, oops. Uh, let's go like this. Chicken! Maybe this is, maybe we'll turn the Smurfs, or, or maybe we'll turn the chicken into Smurfs. <laughs> I wonder if I can do anything silly with, like, the textures to make some kind of animal or something uh, that's already in Minecraft look like a Smurf. I was thinking maybe, like, the baby zombies and somehow, like, make them blue and have, like, a little white hat or something. <laughs> and, like, we can trap the baby zombies in here and call them our Smurfs. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, let's go like this. And I'm out of things place. We can place some smooth stone now. Uh, let's go like uh, this. I'm going to place it like that. And then go ahead like this way. Yeah. Fancy. We're making a fancy, fancy mushroom house. And like this. Awesome. Alright, let's see how it looks. I always like to look and see and make sure 
that the idea that I had in my head <laughs> isn't isn't horrible. Ooh, nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. And then maybe we'll go in one more. Let's see how that looks. It might be too much. Oh, I can't pick these up. I want to pick them up. Let's just make a chest. I think we got enough wood. Yeah. Let's just make a chest. I don't want to waste anything. We cannot be wasteful. Uh, so let's put a chest. Actually, let's put a chest in here. Because we'll probably have chests somewhere in here. So let's just place some stuff that we don't need right now. Alright, so let's go. Give me your saplings. I need them. I need to replant the birch trees. Maybe we'll plant one right there. Alright, so let's see. Nice. Alright, so let's go back in one. <laughs> Today we're learning how to make a mushroom shape. Hopefully it looks like a mushroom. Um, I was looking at pictures of like the Smurf like villages in the TV series and they have different color mushroom houses. Like there's like purple and white mushrooms and like pink and white. Um, but I kind of, I really like uh, using the mushroom blocks for some reason. I haven't really built anything um, other than in the series with like mushroom blocks, I don't think. And they're a really, really cool block to use, and like, I think more people should use them. I had a dream that mushroom blocks and other blocks could be friends. <laughs> and then maybe we'll just cap it off right here. Oopsies. And let's see, how is our mushroom house? Is it beautiful? But will it blend? <laughs> Alright, let's go down here. Ooh, fancy! That looks like a mushroom house to me. Awesome! Here, let me give those blocks and let's remove some of these and like this I'm like this and give me back my dirt and give me back my sandstone my dirt thank you thank you thank you uh, I kind of want to put windows in here I think windows would look really nice I'm not sure where they would go uh, maybe we'd put like a window here and like all just like in the middle on the outsides and we'll go like this yeah, I think so. Um, I didn't bring any glass. Let's go get some glass really quick. And I think white stained glass would look really nice. And we can also go and sleep too because it's nighttime and it's scary. So let's go to my bed and get some white glass. And now we have the goods. I really like this pathway. I don't know if I'll keep it like the wood color, but I just like the feel that it goes like up and down and you can't really see this area until you get down here. I just like it. I don't know. It makes you feel happy. Uh, but I gathered some things, so let's go. Let's make some glass. And I don't think we'll need that much. Um, so we'll put it there. And we'll look there. And you'll get a piece of glass too. Awesome. Let's go inside. Nice. And I kind of like the roof. Like maybe these could be like shelves or something. I think that looks really cool. Um, let's see, what else should we do? Hmm, I did bring some birch fences. And maybe, just maybe, we could do something like that. Yeah, yeah, you feeling me? We'll go like this. Mm-hmm. And then, let's see, I do have some more stairs. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, fancy. And maybe we can make these kind of like pillars, not this one, but like that. Ooh. Ooh, let's try it. Let's see how it looks. It's all in experimentationing <laughs> with how to make the best mushroom house ever. Alright, let's go like this. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. I like it. <laughs> um, let's see. The floor inside. What color should be the floor? Should we use sandstone or birch. Like birch planks. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll use use wood. Let's see. Let's put some stuff in this chest really quickly. Put all the things. Give me my wood back. And let's make a floor in here. A nice little floor. And let's try the birch. Ooh. Let's see. Do we want the birch or the sandstone? We gotta know, guys. You gotta tell me. Let's see. Which feels better? <laughs> hmm. I kind of like the sandstone. I thought I liked the birch better, but I kind of think I like the sandstone. 
So let's remove this and we can use the sandstone for the flooring of our house and kind of do it. I did it! I did a thing! Nice! Um, Alright, we're going to need a door. So let's make a door. I think a birch door will look good. Because it's like all the light, light colors. But bamo! Look at that! That is so cool! Oh my goodness! I want to live here! <laughs> this is so cool! Um, I wonder... Oh my goodness, so cool. Let's see. Ooh, it does make that little thing right there. Um, but you can't really see it from out here. And I don't think anything can actually get in. It's kind of just like little side windows, maybe? <laughs> or maybe we can figure out a way uh, to make that better. Um, let's see. Hmm. What can we use to decorate the inside? Uh, I brought some, uh, some flower pot material, so let's make some of these. All the flower pots. And I brought some wool. Let's make it like a bed or something. You know what would be really cool? Really cool. Uh, bum <laughs> if we made bunk beds. Uh, let's go get another, some more wool. Need some more wool. Because I don't know. I just really like making bunk beds. I don't know why. I like making bunk beds. And since they're so like, they're like really tiny houses, like, gives you more room for activities and allows you to have like sleepovers with your friends. Oh gosh, there's a zombie somewhere. Zombies ate my brains. Is there a zombie in here? Leave my villagers alone. Maybe we can move these guys. Do you guys want to be Smurfs and live in the Smurf village? Uh, let's grab some wool in Walmart. And let's just grab magenta wool because, you know, we can. We're going to need some ladders too. Uh, let's see. Do we have any ladders? Pre-made ladders? Yes, we do! Um, so let's put some dirt back. We don't need it anymore. And oh my goodness, it sounds like there's like a horde of zombies somewhere. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> um, alright. So let this go. Oh my goodness, there's a cow on top of the puppy police. And there's a chicken in that tree. What is going on here? Is it a full moon tonight? Everybody's acting crazy. Nom, 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 nom. Alright, so let's see. Ooh, look at that. That looks really nice. And then we'll make like a couple of them maybe around this area. That's going to look so fancy. We're going to have awesome little mushroom houses. Um, let's make this bed. And we'll go like this. And then we'll go like that. Now we got two beds. Um, let's see. Maybe we put the bunk beds right here. And let's put one like that. And let's get another one. And put it... I don't know if I can put like a slab under this. Because there's a window there. But if I go... Let's see. What color do we want? Do we want oak for like the furniture? Maybe? All right, let's just see. Let's put some ladders here. So the top one person could get in. And then we can place our bed like that. And then we can move this. Ooh, and you can still see the window and everything. <laughs> Bunk beds! And then we can go up here and then you can see this here. <laughs> I don't know, I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool. Um, I wonder if it looked better though if it was birch. It might look better. Let's try. Oh, I broke the bed. No. No. I didn't want to break you. Hmm. Yeah, maybe the birch does look better. Different colors, man. What am I going to do? What am I even going to do? Uh, where's that bed? There's that bed. Alright, there we go. Let's remove this. And then, yeah, if I put a half slab there, it might look weird. But that looks okay, right? It's like supported into the wall. And like right here it's supported and right here. That's why we have two beds. And then, ooh, maybe we'll make like a desk. Ooh, I love interior decorating. That's so fun. Um, let's go like this. And let's make a desk. Let's make some slabs. Oh yeah, we can test out the slabs now too. So if we put like slabs there, should we do that? But then, hmm, I wonder. Kind of look, does it look better? It might look better. See, how does it look from the outside? Is it weird? It's not too weird, I guess. Hmm. 
All right, let's leave it like that for now and see how we feel. And then let's make a desk right here. We'll have like a desk. Yes. And then where you be right here, this can be like the little storage area. So let's make some more chests. And we can actually move this inside. No, we can't. Just kidding. We can't move it inside. Uh, let's put some mushrooms in here. Uh, let's give me that. And maybe, yeah, we have a chest here. Maybe we could have like a crafting bench right there. Or maybe even like in the floor. Like a built in crafting bench. Yeah. Let's make another chest because I don't think one chest is going to be big enough for one person or two people if there's two people living here because bunk beds. So each of them can have a chest. You get a chest and you get a chest. Oh, this is looking really nice. Okay, and let us get our flower pots. And where should we place those? Let's see. Ooh. Maybe we can place one on each of these little, like, corner things. Let's see. Can we place it? <laughs> We're walking on the furniture. Like that. And then I have... I bring flowers. I think I put them... Yeah, I brought some tulips and some azure blue lights. Let's do that, and then let's see how this looks. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Uh, we're going to need some lighting in here. I did bring some glowstone, so let us see if we do some kind of, like, lamp thing. Ooh, yes, fancy. That really brightens up the place. Oh, that is so cool. And then there can be, like, storage areas up here. Maybe we'll make some bookshelves later and put, like, some bookshelves up in these, like, little nooks right here. But, yeah, that looks so cool. Um, I wonder if we should try trapdoors around the lamp. lamp. So let's see. Where's my wood? There's my wood. Let's make some trapdoors. And there we go. And let us try... <laughs> Well, we have this ladder, so this should be useful. And we'll go like this, and then we'll go like that. Close you, and then like this, and then, ooh, parkour. A weird parkour thing happening. Oh, I did it! Did it! <laughs> oh, like this. Awesome! Look at that! I wonder if I should, should do that. Maybe. Uh, it kind of feels bulky. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. And should we put, like, a pot on this uh, table, too? I keep forgetting I moved the crafting table in here. We'll put like a pot and we'll put it like right there. Put like a mushroom in it. <laughs> oh, this is really cute. Oh, this is so cute. Uh, but yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think of this little like smurfy looking house. I wonder if we should put like a carpet or something. Hmm. I'll have to see. I'm going to bring some leaves too, so let us put some decorations on the outside we'll make it like more organic because that's like the word of the server we got to make all the things organic guys I don't think I don't I don't know if I understand <laughs> um, let's put some leaves and have it like going down and then over here no I don't like it there Maybe there? Mm. Like that maybe? Oh hi zombie! Do you wanna be my friend? Do you want the hug? Um let's see. Maybe something like that. Yeah, we can always like mess around with the leaves later. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys like our little smurfy house? Isn't it smurfiful? <laughs> um but yeah, oh, there's a skeleton. I need your bones. I use so much, like, bones for bone meal. It's not even funny. Yeah, give me those bones. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Let me know what you think of our little Smurfy house and if I should build, like, a little Smurfy village over here in this area. Um, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!